I love this movie so much. I was cracking up the whole time, but it still had so much heart and you two are the heart and soul of this movie. So for anyone who might not be up to speed, there might be a little confusion for people who are like, wait, there was a Suicide Squad movie before, now there's the Suicide Squad. How do you describe this movie to people, Daniela? I would say that everyone can tell a story and everyone that tells a story always uh, puts a little bit of themselves in the story. And we can say with this, the Suicide Squad is James version and for me it's truly a masterpiece for me I can't imagine like other suicide squad uh made from like anybody else sorry for everybody else <laughs> Well, what, what James is so great at is he takes these really obscure characters that people don't, might not even know and makes us all fall in love with them. So Idris, for you, what did you know about your character in advance? And I don't know if this is true, but I read you signed on without knowing who you were playing. <laughs> yeah, this is really, really true. Um, um, Ash, I um, didn't know what character I was playing, but I knew the type of character and I knew the position he played within the storyline. So. That's all I needed to understand, and I signed on. Uh, but I did know that, you know, he was uh, the first guy to, you know, put Superman in hospital because he shot Superman. And, and that's why he's in jail. And that was very intriguing and also became a little bit of a motivation in some of my scenes and my character development. A lot of people thought you were taking over for Will Smith's character, Deadshot. What did you make of those rumors? And those rumors would be natural because, you know, Will said he wasn't um, going to be joining the second movie. So it was quite, you know, natural for the audiences of fans to think that I would be taking over the Deadshot character because the Deadshot character lived in the other movie. But I was, you know, really satisfied that James didn't want to do that. Um, I didn't want to do that. Um, Deadshot is a great character and Will slays it. So I was really keen the audience and fans kept that rumor going. <laughs> because, <laughs> surprise, you know? Your characters have like this really kind of special bond. Did you feel that on set or did you guys get to do anything together offset to, to secure that bond? Any offset moments you can tell me about? We had so much fun. Uh, we would tell each other the worst jokes that we ever heard about. <laughs> and we would just push each other just to like, I don't know, to provoke each other. And that bond, um, like the bond that you see in the movie, it's the friendship that we have also off, off camera. Idris, like James, you're kind of navigating the Marvel to DC crossover. I'm curious if you've been keeping up with the multiverse stuff that's been going on over there, because now I'm feeling like there's actually a big chance we could see Heimdall again. Do, what, what do you think? Is that possible? I mean, you know, I think that the, 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 con the constraints of the sort of superhero uh, universe are none. So everything is possible. Um, and I think that, you know, Heimdall is an amazing character and still exists. You could be like the Marvel DC daddy, just like doing them both, you know? Hey, I like that Marvel DC daddy. That's a great name for a band. Daniela, tell me about, I, I want to hear a little bit more about Ratcatcher 2's powers because she can control rats. But did you, were there rat actors on set? Yes, I can show you a picture that I have here with me. Please it's do. Actually my wallpaper for like, since I shot the movie. So this is Sebastian. And he was all the time like wanting to cuddly, uh, cuddle with me. And yeah, it was difficult because uh, Ratcatcher 2 has like Sebastian every day with her. So for her, it wasn't a big thing or a big deal. And for me, I was so excited for it. So like between takes, I would be, oh, Sebastian and then action. Okay, yeah, he's here. And I, I don't care. <laughs> what were the rats actual names? Wasn't one like Chris? Rat. <laughs> yeah, crisp rat, uh, Jaws, and my favorite one was Squeaky. 
Oh my gosh, I love that. I heard they're like um, like the closest thing to dogs or something, like rats as pets are. Yeah, they're really smart. Uh, actually, they can be trained. And uh, like the rats that we had were trained, like to be standing up, uh, to stay on my shoulder. And another one was like the smartest that could be, like if we call them, uh, they like he could come, she could come. Um, so yeah, it's it's amazing. Robert Dubois. He's in prison for putting Superman in the ICU with a kryptonite bullet. I'm not joining your suicide squad. We'll see. Idris, what would you like to see Bloodsport do next? It wouldn't be next, it would be what came before. I would be really interested, you know, to see why he went to jail. Why did he shoot Superman? I would love to see that narrative come alive. Daniela, how about you for you with Ratcatcher 2? She had the opportunity to talk about his father. So I would love to see a little bit more about it. But I would love also to see Ratcatcher like learning from, I don't know, why not Bloodsport? How to shoot a gun, how to fight with someone. I would love to see like her debut as a supervillain for real.